Part 4, Graph It. Example 1, Parabola. Hi, my name is Angel Selev. I'm a vision teacher and this is Brandon Kozak. We are going to demonstrate how to use the Graph It program using a Braille light and a Braille blazer embosser. So, Brandon. First we're going to do is uh, you have to turn on all your equipment. So you want to turn... So first, now, now we need to turn the braille light on first, right? Yes. Okay, so first we must turn on the braille light. Millennium 20, ready? Good. No, I'm vacant. Okay, and now we must turn on the braille blazer while getting around all these wires. And the power switch is a rocker switch on the back of the blazer on the far right side as you're facing the front. Yes. The Braille Blazer is on Brandon's right-hand side. Braille Blazer ready. Okay. okay. Good job. So now that you have it all on, we're ready to start. <clears throat> and we're going to go into the Graphit program. Um, so we do that by pressing O chord for option. option. And okay. then we press F for the start of the And then in this particular case, you may have to do some different depending on whether it's the last file in your folder or not. Mm -hmm. But it, in this case, it is. So we press four, five, six chord to go to the end of the folder. File number 56, Brandon Top PMS 13 pages, external program. And that is the file that we go into for the graphic program. Good. So then from there, we press. O chord to open. Graphic version 1.02. Copyright 1996. Place the engineering incorporated. All rights reserved. Register to Gail Serial number 00045. Entry 1. Nothing entered. Yeah, that's a whole bunch of start. Uh, what? The. Identifying information yes, for the program. I, yes, yes. Whole so bunch. we want to start out and enter an equation. So doing that, we do an E chord. Yes. Entry one. For entry one. Yes. And now all equations entered into Graphit must be entered in Y equals MX plus B format. Which is the Y intercept. Slope intercept. Slope form. intercept format. The first one we're going to do is we're going to graph a parabola. Yeah. Y equals X squared. Yes. And now, now when you do this, there are to be no spaces between any terms. Between any terms. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we type in y. y. And now for the equal sign, in Graphit, all equations must be entered in computer Braille notation. Please make note of that. And the equal sign in computer Braille notation is a full cell. Dots one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. But good. No spaces yeah. involved. Okay, so you no have spaces. y equals equals. And then we're gonna do x squared. X squared. So you put in your x. X. And then a u chord. Uppercase. And then that's four five. Carrot. For the carrot. And then a two, a nem nemeth two. two. Good. Yes, yes. All numbers must be entered in nemeth code. Okay, now you have your equation in there. What do you need to do from there? And then you need to press E chord. E, e, oh, yeah, I can't. I was almost about to go to the Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now it's in there. And, and now to emboss to it. To emboss the graph, we press a P chord. P chord. Uh, what, why didn't yeah. I say a P it's chord? It's all right. I'm just repeating. Uh, in case they didn't understand. That's right. Okay. Go ahead. Plotting graph, period, period, period. <laughs> and now it's plotting the graph on the graph label. Yes, that's pretty good. Probably not something you want to do in the middle of math class. No, thank you, because the Braille blazer would be way too noisy in math class. Right. It would definitely be a distraction. Absolutely. The graph is about one third complete.
<laughs> that was the x-axis. Oh. oh. Oh, it was drawing the axis. Yes. Axis. Uh, why do you always get on it? The graph shows a parabola in quadrants one and two intersecting the origin. The graph is about three quarters complete. It's a speedy process. Yes. <laughs> All right, so to get the graph out, you need to advance the paper, which is the rocker switch on the left side. Brandon locates the paper advance button. The machine. Keep going a little bit more. Okay, stop there. You can tear it off. The teacher tears off the graph. And then I can show you the graph here. The teacher hands the graph to Brandon. I want to hold it up so they can well, see. Well, let's hold it this way. Okay. This is the graph. Okay, this is the graph that we just made. Y equals x squared, it's a parabola. Okay, so show me where the x-axis is. It's a, this program is a very handy tool for graphing equations. It uh, allows you to have the same functions or similar functions as a graphing calculator, something um, a sighted person might use. Yes, this is the x-axis. Mm -hmm. That is the y-axis, actually. Oh. oh. This is the x. Oh. Yeah. The, the, x axis. Goes, the x axis yes, yes. goes along the short oh, yeah. way of the paper. Yeah. Horizontal. The is y is vertical. Yes. And the parabola starts in the upper left in yeah. quadrant two, comes down to the origin, the origin. on a diagonal, mm -hmm. and then goes up to the right, the right. And in quadrant, quadrant one, one. Ending up on the right side. Yeah. So you've just produced your first graph. Good job. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>